How about 3D printed houses? 3D printing houses is an interesting proposition. So there's basically two camps. There's one camp I'm fully on board with, and I think it's a fantastic game-changing technology. There's another one that I am very much unsold on so far. I'll start off with the, the one that I'm not fully sold on, and that's the one's 3D printing concrete. One, they're not actually using concrete. They're using their own proprietary new blended material that is much more akin, at least in my understanding, to mortar than actual concrete. How long will this stuff actually last? How durable is it? There's a whole lot of unknowns when you're talking about more or less a new material. Also, at least on a lot of the projects that I've personally seen, it still seems to take forever to actually build the frame. And maybe it's because they're still testing out and validating and working out the kinks, but I got to go see the one that they were doing at Camp Mayberry here in Austin. And it's a decent sized building, but I mean, I'd say it's kind of on par with like a three or four bedroom house that has a detached garage, like a good size house. And they were talking about how it's gonna take them six weeks just to print the frame. They're building houses in my neighborhood right now that aren't much bigger than that, they have that up and done in like two or three days, maybe a yeah. week tops. It doesn't seem to really be saving that much time on that specific effort. They keep talking about being able to do it in 24 hours. And the only thing I've seen them actually do that time was like a very small, tiny little thing. You also have the issue of you need your machine to be bigger than the building. So that presents its own challenges. I definitely think there's huge possibility. They're working on some cool stuff when it comes to integrating electrical and plumbing and all these other different utilities. That does have some potential benefits, but I'm not fully sold on that way of doing it. That said, there is an entirely other way of doing that I am a thousand percent sold on. The best example of it is a company out of Australia called FBR. And their strategy is instead of taking a liquid material and depositing it layer by layer, they start with bricks. These are basically cinder blocks. They're a very specific shape. Basically a truck pulls up. It's got a big, huge boom arm on it. So it looks like a pole work truck or something like that that okay. has a bucket truck. And on the end of it, it has a laser stabilized robotic arm. And it has a carriage system that feeds the bricks through the boom from the actual main truck. The arm grabs it, puts structural adhesive on it, and then sticks it right where it needs to be. It can actually do the full frame like to where you're now talking the frame is solid, well-established construction bricks mm -hmm. for an entire house. It can actually do it in a day or two. And you don't have to set up a track system. You don't have to have some gigantic machine that's bigger than the house. It literally parks in the front yard and its boom can reach 100 feet. Okay. And it you just load pallets of bricks into the back of it and it starts stacking everything up.